Hope reigns supreme for a better year in 2021. Utah saw just about everything last year, including an earthquake in Magna. New specialist Dan Rascone takes us back to that unsettling morning and that sent some folks fearing for their lives. Fear and panic. Early Wednesday morning. So loud. March 18th. Terrifying moments for dozens of residents at this West Valley mobile home park. As a 5.7 earthquake rattles the area. It just felt like chaos, just shaking and lights flickering and stuff falling. One trailer home after the other, severely damaged in what would become the epicenter for the quake. This crack in here, there's quite a few. But the shaking was not over. As we are interviewing okay. Shauna, a 4.6 aftershock a, hits. A beam came up from underneath into the floor. Okay. Are you rolling? Are you rolling? Yep. We're okay. We're okay, guys. I'm okay. I'm okay. Fridge was popped open. All my food, my, some of my groceries just fell. A very emotional time for Liliana Morales, a single mother of three kids. This is what she came home to find in her kitchen. It's really hard. <laughs> I work two jobs to be able to provide for my kids. When I have a little extra money, I try to buy food for them so that they can have here so it's not it's not easy the tragedy continues right into the heart of magna where century old buildings once stood a painful sight to see you cry i cry we don't cry <laughs> for business owners like sebastian who owns this italian restaurant first the virus and now this it's bad enough that we had to close because of the virus and now not <laughs> Now we're probably closed because we don't have a building. A couple blocks down the street, another business owner in the same situation. My heart about fell out of my chest when I saw that. At the Salt Lake International Airport. It was pandemonium, it was chaos. Chaos, moments before takeoff. People just started like screaming and running. Thousands of passengers waiting, boarding, or already seated were sent packing. And then all of a sudden security came in, they're like, you gotta leave now. I thought I was going to die. Honestly, it was the scariest thing I've ever been through in my whole life. The worst of the damage, a water line that burst in Concourse D. The quake also shook the Salt Lake Temple of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, sending Angel Moroni's trumpet right to the ground. Salt Lake County Mayor Jenny Wilson and Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall ended up declaring states of emergency. At its peak, about 49,000 customers were left without power in Salt Lake County. Tracks and front runner services were also disrupted, and some roads were shut down. But fortunately, no reports of serious injuries or deaths. Just another Mother Nature reminder of how quickly life can change. Ooh. You think you're prepared for these kind of things and you hear these kind of things, but when it happens, you kind of forget everything. Dan Rascone, KSL 5 News. Dan, thank you. Since the earthquake, there have been thousands of aftershocks recorded. State officials say the quake caused more than $70 million in damage.